Umu Hawabari is ready to vote in parliamentary elections in her constituency, Hamdalai, in a suburb of Conakry. Taking part in Saturday's election is so important to her because her son was shot and killed by government forces during an opposition rally two months ago. She says deliberately. My daughter came running into the house screaming, Mom, they've killed my brother. I screamed, What? He had just gone out to play football. He was just 14. He was not involved in politics, but the opposition supporters and security forces were fighting nearby. Uma Hawa believes if the opposition wins the election, there'll be an investigation into her son's death. My son was shot because of this election, so I must vote. Let me go and vote, and let's see if they shoot me too. There's no evidence that there'll be serious violence during the poll, but things have been tense in many parts of Guinea. In the run-up to these elections, the government says at least 50 people have been killed during protests, but opposition supporters say the figure is much higher. And on Tuesday, a policeman was killed. Despite the tension, opposition candidates and their supporters under the Union of Democratic Forces of Guinea have been out campaigning in force. It looks like they won't win the majority of the 114 parliamentary seats up for grabs. The ruling party, the Rally of the Guinean People, is ahead in the polls, according to strategic consultancy firm Africa Practice. But what's important here is not so much which party wins more seats, but whether the election is free and fair. The vote was supposed to take place in 2010, but has been cancelled five times. The opposition accuses the election commission of manipulating the voters' list and the location of polling stations to give the ruling party an unfair advantage. But the African Union, which is observing the election, say most of the problems have been resolved. Some irregularities have been noted, but the ruling party, the opposition and the election commission came to an agreement on how to resolve the issues. The process was put in place and the problems have been fixed. It's not perfect, but no election is perfect. If the vote does go smoothly, it will be the first democratic parliamentary election since independence in 1958. The results will be announced three days after the polls close. But the dividends of democracy will take much longer to see. Ivan Dege, Al Jazeera, Conakry.